we're showing you how to transfer data from a Windows PC over to a Mac, specifically an M1 Mac. What you're gonna to need to do is make sure that obviously both laptops are connected to power and that both laptops are on the same Wi-Fi network or even perhaps plugged in via a network cable. As long as they're both on the same network, you should be able to do this step fairly easy. If you wanna stay up to date with everything that I'm releasing, do remember to also subscribe click on that button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my video releases. So we've got our PC on the left, this little small form factor laptop. I've downloaded the Windows Migration Assistant from the Apple Store and I've actually now gone and installed it. Very simple install so you can just follow those prompts and get that installed. On our Mac on the right, We've now turned it on and we're now presented with the area. We now select the country and then we proceed from there. Now, just a reminder that we've got both of these laptops on the same Wi-Fi network. Furthermore, I wanna ensure that network discovery is enabled on this laptop. Otherwise, the Mac will not see this laptop. The easiest way to do this is to go into the Windows Explorer and you'll straight away know if you do or don't have this turned on. Navigate to network. And if it does say network discovery is turned off, you will select OK. And then on the top, network discovery files and shares are turned off. You wanna click on that and you wanna say turn on. And then you select yes. So on the right Mac, let's just follow the simple prompts where we select our country. You can do the accessibility options later. So we're gonna select not now. Connect to your Wi-Fi network if you're not already connected. You can continue on the data and privacy. And this is where we now select the migration assistant options. You wanna select migration from a Windows PC. We then select continue. Now it says that it's looking for other sources. Essentially now it is scanning the network, trying to find another computer that is running the migration assistant. Now on our PC, we go and select continue. It's just giving me a quick warning around Windows updates, making sure that there is no Windows updates being run. You can click on continue. The left computer will now start to scan the network as well. And the computer on our right, our Mac has now found our computer. And this one is actually called desktop. Uh, U60BH4L, all right? So that is the name that it is found. That's great. That means that there is actually a connection established between both of these computers. So you select that computer and then we're gonna select continue. You will now see that a code has shown up, 356016. This is a unique code that has been identified and set up on our Mac. And our computer on the left has now actually found the same code. That is great. So we can now select continue on our left computer on our Windows. So the computer on the left now states that the migration assistant is ready to transfer your information. And on your Mac, choose the information you want to transfer. On our Mac, you will now see a list of all of the data that resides on this laptop. You can scroll up or down. And this is the portion where you now select the actual information that you want to transfer over. You can actually select certain data to be transferred and certain data that you do not want to be transferred. Now, of course, if you want to make this as simple as possible, you could transfer the whole lot. If your computer, laptop or desktop has a lot more hard drive space, a lot more data on here than the new Mac can actually handle, then you won't be able to transfer everything and you'll have to select essentially what you do and don't want to transfer. So this will transfer my user, which is Oscar, as well as the actual files and folders within all of these folders listed. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna now select continue. The Mac is now asking us to set a secure password for each administrator. You'll see that our administrator here, Oscar, has been identified and I would recommend the same password that you used for here is the same password that you set over here. So we're gonna select set password and then set that admin password. It's got a nice green tick, that's excellent. We now can select continue. The transfer will now begin. And now the computer on the right is gonna transfer all the data from this computer over to this computer. There'll also be an estimate of how much time is remaining. So during this process, do not unplug either of the two computers, leave them turned on, and we'll check back once that process is completed. So the migration is now completed successfully. We can quit out of this one on our Mac and select done. And now we log in. So there are several settings that you can set up right there, such as Siri and your Touch ID and other things, but you can also set those up later if you so need to. So there you have it. The data is now transferred. Why don't you let me know how you went? Let me know if you were successful. Let me know if you had any issues. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. And do what you do across the social medias by liking, give me a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy it and found it helpful. And also click on the subscription button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything and also check out some of my other videos. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you later.